Well, it looks like my tire's a little low. Well, in this video, we're gonna look at a tire inflator pump that Audu had given me to do a video on. If you remember, if you're watching this channel, Audu gave me a jump starter and a welding helmet. And now out of the blue, they sent me this air compressor to see what I think about it. This is it in this little bag. Looks like it's got a digital readout, on off switch, and your air compressor hose. I guess it just wraps around the side. So right off the bat, I wanna say this would be an emergency use only. This is a light duty air compressor, meaning you don't wanna take this out wheeling and deflate then inflate all your tires because most likely something like this would burn out. This one here on the other hand, this is the same thing, it's light duty. I, I've had this over 10 years. This goes with me in my quad, in my backpack when I'm out in the bush. I put it in my vehicles too. And uh, 10 years, light duty use. This has been just fine. But let's have a look, see what this one has to offer. First little fault right off the bat is a quality control issue. You can see the LCD screen isn't exactly perfect, which sometimes isn't a big deal, but sometimes this could lead to that the rest of the unit is not very good either. So it says I got 19.5 and I'm gonna put 45 pounds of air. So I got 19.5. So it usually goes about one PSI over and then shuts off. Doesn't feel too warm. Kind of smells, but doesn't smell like something's burning up yet. Uh, let's check the other tire, see if they need air. So you're kind of stretching the limits there. This is the last tire I'm topping up. Good thing my truck has a Electrical plug in at the back, otherwise, I'm going to reach. Let's see, what are my thoughts? I topped up all four of my tires. The one tire was down to 20 psi, pumped them up. The uh, air hose or air line got a little warm when it was filling up. Um, cosmetic things the only cosmetic I could find was the uh, LCD screen. What I do like about it is the fact that you set it up to a pressure, it pumps that pressure, turns it off. Other than that, it does what it's supposed to do. It inflates tires. Could probably inflate some toys too. But for the North American market, you would probably want to add at least four feet of more electrical cable. That way you could reach the tires in the back as I showed you in the video. Anyways, I'm gonna get going. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I wanna thank you guys for watching.